Hey guys, Charisma came out with some oil-filled shocks. All you have to do is buy some 25 weight oil, just like the instructions, fill them up, and then guess what? They're gonna leak everywhere. That's awesome. And then, better yet, they're just as bouncy as the original stock ones. Isn't that so much fun? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Upper Left RC and day six. 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 You can do it many ways. Yeah. Day six of the competition. The Circle of Crawling. I've got all the courses combined. If you're watching this, you've probably already seen the first five days of running the competition. Why am I explaining it? Who knows? If you haven't seen them, check out the other videos. Uh, today we are running the MSA 1E by Charisma. I'm just so bummed I have memorized the number. I'm just going to start calling it the Charisma Ford or Chevy, whatever we want to use. <laughs> I've got multiple bodies. Today we're running the Ford body. Um, I have done very little as far as upgrades. This is all basically bone stock except for the suspension which are oil-filled shocks, and I forgot to update everyone, I did finally get the oil in for the oil-filled shocks, and they still seem just as bouncy. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure why, but they don't really hold oil. Maybe I built them wrong, I don't know. Uh, I bought 25 weight oil, that's what it said to do in the instructions. Putting it in there was a nightmare because the nozzle hole is like that big, the hole in the top of the shock's like that big. So I had to get like a little syringe thing for medicine to actually get oil in there. And most of it has come out on the bottom. Look at that. See how shiny that is? It just keeps running out the bottom of the shocks. There is an O-ring in there and all four of them in the bottom and in the top, they're supposed to seal it. My guess is I just did it wrong, but they work well. I mean, they're good shocks, even though they don't have much dampening. Um, before the rear, when there was nothing in it, it wouldn't even come back up after I pushed on it. They were like super tight. The other modification I've done are these white steel beadlock wheels from RC four wheel drive. And then the Mickey Thompson Baja claws wheels. These are super soft, no foams. This truck is pretty awesome. I've seen some reviews. People didn't really like how it crawls. They say it's not very responsive. I've also heard other people say like the gear meshing and stuff when they unbox it wasn't great. Mine seems to be okay. I haven't had any issues yet, but let's just see how it does around the course. I'll get the body back on, we'll get set up and we will run it. All right, we got the Charisma Ford on the course ready to roll. Let's see how it compares to the rest of the... Why does it look like it got higher? Oh, it did get higher. Huh. There we go. Simple fix, my bad. Must have bumped the sawhorse down here and put the legs together. That looks like the right level. All right. Come on. Nice. Finally made it. That seems to be the hardest obstacle for all these trucks, only because it's so tall and it's not very fair for 24 fourth scale crawlers. That's all right. Let's get up and around this corner here. Very nicely done. Moving over to the next section where Betty is. We'll come down the back there. Right over here. Quite a bit of speed to get up that. Oh, we made it down and around, no problem. Move over to the tunnel section. get some lights for this thing. I think it would look good with a, a set of lights in it.
grave digger up here watching what's going on. flag to get down. That was not a good transition. That was my bad. Oh, don't fall. She's got those really low dips in it. Not a lot of clearance. Need to line up better. Without tipping. Dragging that rear axle. Uh oh. Guess we'll do the wiggle move. Oh. Oh. Don't go over the edge. Don't flip. Drag that front differential across the rock. There we go. Ooh. Same issue we had with the uh, the Chevy, but I think this one, this one seems a lot taller. This might even be harder to power through. We might have to, we have to skip going under it with this one. Let's see. Oh, nice. Nope. Just had to try and break it. That's all. Of course it can. Why wouldn't it? And across the line. All right. We did it. The Charisma Ford made it around the course. And actually, it did pretty good. Other than being a little tall for that bridge, um, I didn't have too much of an issue. It is a little tall for the backside of this guy right here. So it might be partly because I'm driving blind, but back here, coming up this ramp, doo -doo -doo, um, I heard it scraping and I kind of caught a glimpse of it as it was coming up, just scraping along the side and the top of this. So not the best size for this these courses, but again, you know, I built them with 24 scale in mind and I use some trucks as guides when I'm building it to see if the obstacle's too small, too big or everything, but I never really use this one just because it's I don't know. It's not really my go-to. It's a great truck, though, um, and it did good. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. If you think it did all right, if you think it's maybe a little too bouncy, a little too top-heavy, um, I really want to get these oil-filled shocks figured out and try and actually fill them with oil rather than just spray oil all over the axles. You can see this one's pretty shiny and greased up, too. Yeah, a lot of grease on there. But... Anyways, it's fun to drive. Um, it slow crawls pretty well, and compared to what I've seen people talk about them, how they don't really like them, or they think it's not a very good truck, I disagree. I think it's a great truck. Um, are there better ones out there? Sure, but it's still fun to use. It's fun to drive. 
The controller's a little wonky. It's a little, a little small. Throttle's a little touchy. There's no foam around this thing. But I still enjoy it, and I'm glad it's part of my collection. So, that's it for this one. Uh, I think next we'll run the... Ooh, we've almost gotten through all of them. I think all we have left is the Toyota and the Rockstar, and I'm going to do the Rockstar last, so I guess we'll do the Kyosho Mini Z 4x4 Toyota next. Um, I'm going to get some fresh batteries in it, and we will do that in tomorrow's video. I'm excited for that one because I think it's the most scale, um, but it's also the most top-heavy. So we'll see if we can do it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to follow and see um, updated videos I upload daily, and we'll see you tomorrow.